When you're one of the over 550,000 people experiencing homelessness on any given day in this country, it's nearly impossible to truly protect all of your belongings. Life on the streets is extremely difficult when you're unhoused. It goes without saying that surviving the conditions and surroundings uh, is already difficult, but when you compound that with the laws that make it difficult just to stay in one place on any given day, living on the streets without shelter is one of the most difficult things a human being can endure. So that begs the question, what happens when you run into the law and have your property seized when you do ultimately get into trouble for being in the wrong place just at the wrong time? That question is exactly what played out in Garcia versus the city of Los Angeles. According to the Legal Aid Foundation, the nonprofit group defending Janet Garcia, an unhoused woman who brought the suit against the city, in the fourth quarter of 2018, the city teams tasked with enforcing LAMC 56.11 visited more than 2,000 encampments and threw away more than 435 tons of debris, but sent less than 160 bags of belongings to storage. According to the suit, Los Angeles Municipal Code Section 56.11, the code which is playing out in this case, the city uh, used this code to justify the ongoing practice of seizing and then destroying homeless people's critically important belongings, including tents, medications, uh, important documents, and other items which all of us need just to survive, but these people need to survive on the streets. So advocacy, group, advocacy groups like K-Town for All joined in the suit and helped propel the case forward the case made its way through the court system and up to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Now today, in a two to one decision, a panel of the US Ninth District Court of Appeals said the Los Angeles City Ordinance violated the Fourth Amendment, deeming it unconstitutional. The Fourth Amendment protects people from unreasonable government seizure of their property, even when that property is stored in public areas.